Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to a new video of mine. My name is Emily and in today's video I'm gonna be finally doing a TBR video again. So I have my TBR jar right here. We're gonna pick some prompts and then choose the books from my yeah in from my TBR card. And yeah, I'm so excited. I don't think I've I don't have it done. I haven't done that since I think November. I'm not sure if I've done it in December actually, but I've definitely not done it in January and it really sucks. Like I love having a TBR. If I stick to it, we'll never know, but I love having it. But yeah, it's just been too hectic in January. And honestly, it's very hectic um, right now, just because I have an exam, like a big final exam for all of my uni semester this year <laughs> um, in three days. So I'm really, really stressed, but I'm just gonna take this as my break and film a YouTube video. And then I'm gonna go right back to studying. And yeah, <sighs> the reading will be starting on February 5th and then we'll read, but before then, no. But anyways, let's start with the prompt. Really quick, it's just gonna be rapid fire, TBR prompts, books, just don't think about it much, just do it basically, Emily. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. Okay, great. First prompt. I'm so excited. I love filming these videos. So I'm very glad I can do it again. I need to get some new prompts actually. Okay. So now, okay, that is a very short and sweet prompt. Don't wait, let me. Okay, now you can really see my physical TBR. This is not all of the books, but these are like my main priorities that I probably will be choosing from. Okay, right. Uh, TBR draft right here and Thriller. I'm going to be choosing... Oh, this is so full. Oh my god, I could cry. <laughs> the Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I got this book for Christmas. I haven't gotten around to it, but it really intrigues me. And I love Lisa Jules Solas, and this is like one of the only ones I haven't read yet from her. So I'm really excited. And I got the US cover, so it's really floppy, which I love. Okay. <sighs> Prompt two. Literary fiction. Why are all these prompts so generic kind of i don't know but okay so i said i was gonna read one classic a month haven't done that in january because i was literally reading like university li literature so i wanted to only read fun stuff but i think i'm gonna choose a classic this month or for this month and that is the picture of Dorian Gray. It is literary fiction, right? Actually, not sure, but I think it's stuck with me, so probably is. But yeah, I hate this cover. I want to get another one, but if I hate it, then I won't care about the cover. But if I love it, I'm gonna get a new one. But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. It's very short, so that's fun. And I've heard great things about it, and I really want to watch the movie, so this fits very perfectly. <sighs> Okay. New prompt. Book part of a series. Okay, this is great because I have a few ones that I really want to finish and a few ones that are really high on my TBR and one that is staring me right in my face. It has been staring at me all January and oh my goodness, I really wanted to read it so badly. Oh no. Can you see this? That is so sad and upsetting, oh my god. Okay, anyways, Rupa's Vows by Rebecca Ross. This is the second in duology, Letters of Enchantment, so Divine Revels. And I loved Divine Revels, so I really want to pick this up, but like I said, uni stress stopped me. But now I'm, I'm ready to enter my reading era again. Because I'm going on a semester break for two months. I forgot to say that. But yeah, I'm very excited for February and March because 
I will be demolishing that one, hopefully. But yeah. Round four. Okay, you can actually look at it first. Is it like right? I don't know. Don't think so. No, highest rated from Goodreads. Okay, I have actually no idea. But let's check. I have my iPad here just in case I need it. And because I'm currently also addicted to heydays, so it's following me everywhere actually. Okay, my books. Then we go on my physical TBR, which is basically like a sub thingy. And then we sort it by average rating. You can see it first. Is that up? Yes. Oh, okay. It's the Nightingale. I don't think you could saw that. Okay, yeah, it's the Nightingale. That is so fun. That is really ooh. I always forget that I have the winners on my TBR because it is over there with the other books. It's the only book that is not on my physical TBR card here. I always forget that I have that, but I need to remember that. But yeah, The Nightingale has a rating of 4.62. That is crazy, but I've only heard great things about it. So yeah, I'm really excited. I've wanted, wanted to read this book for such a long time, actually. So. Yeah, and it's such a cute cover, like so small. It's gonna make it really hard to read. I'm not probably gonna crack this fine, but it's fine. I'm probably gonna crack this fine, but it's fine. Okay. <sighs> Next prompt. Oh, these are two putting one back in book with a name in the title Ooh, okay i feel like i know what i need to read i'm just a little bit intimidated not gonna lie but it's somewhere here it literally couldn't have been closer to me so that's humbling but anyways the book that i'm talking about is magnolia parks a long way home she is chunky. But the next one is coming out super soon and I really wanted to read it actually when it came out. But I don't know why I haven't picked this one up. But I'm just I really want to read it. I've been saying it for such a long time, but hopefully February will make me want to read the two key brilliant with the parks. Okay. Next book. Uh quote. Uh, prompt. Literally, this is just uni stuff in there, so sorry. My thoughts don't make cohesive the sentences. Thank you. Next one. Not having heard too much about it. Okay, so book I haven't heard too much about. Mm hmm. That is a little bit difficult because I feel like I buy books because I've heard people talk about it because I feel like that just makes it more fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be choosing Radio Silence. I have heard of it, about it, obviously, but I haven't heard it that much about it and like too many thoughts and like, too many people that I follow have read that book lately. So yeah, and I really want to finish my whole Usman verse. So this is the next book in that. So here we have it. This is turning out to be very blue kind of theme. So that's fun. <laughs> But now we have six books, so we can choose two more. <laughs> a 
literally completely the other way around, I guess. I don't know. Popular book. Mm, I'm just gonna choose the most popular book that I think is on this TBR that I feel like people probably have heard the most about it just because it's been out a very long time and that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, no, and the Sea of Monsters which is the second book. I've read the first one in January so it's time for the second one, obviously. And this is it. The cover is really, I don't know, this man with one eye? Okay, cool. But yeah, I'm excited to read the series. And continue with the blue spines, I guess. No, this is like the last book. Oh my god. Okay, we've got the prompt. Book with off in the title, sort of. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna read off. There is. Um. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna be choosing this one because it has the word off in the title because it's called Emily Wise and Clyde Encyclopedia of Fairies. And I love this cover, it's so pretty. I love mushrooms, so this is very fun and cute. And I'm always need to check if I'm in the industry, it's crazy, but it's not, it's very boring, but that's okay. And the second one just came out, so I'm kind of hoping that if I like it, I'm gonna read the second one soon too, technically. But I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have my TBR now. I'm gonna put these in order a little bit, and then we can talk about it again. Okay. Let's not talk about all this. Okay. We have. Emily White's Encyclopedia of Fairies, Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home, Ruthless Vows, The Picture of Dorian Gray, The Family Upstairs, Radio Silence. Percy Jackson's and the Sea of Monsters and the Nightingale and there we have it that's my TBR for February and I'm very excited to read all these books obviously and I hope you are too um, I have some very fun videos planned for February obviously because I have so much more time in a few days <laughs> it'll pass but I won't know that until March, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I decided to read. Hope you too, and I hope you liked this video, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye, guys!